Good morning, folks. A happy birthday to my wife, Kat, without whom the tour wouldn't have happened, and neither would the conferences. With the colors inverted from 193 angstroms, it's quite clear that our star is calm at the moment. No big eruptions or flares. In fact, the only activity of any kind we see is the nano flare activity within the sunspots themselves. We're looking at the base of those dark blue loops. The flashes you see amidst those field loops is the nano flare activity. The remainder of our star is even calmer than this area, so with the only sunspots and the biggest filament, we'll maintain our focus here. Let's begin. Over at spaceweathernews.com, we again find that calm. The bright areas are the sunspots this time, and the thin dark lines are the plasma filaments that could erupt at any time. The biggest filament, as previously stated, is climbing over the northeastern limb into view now, but filaments do tend to destabilize around this position. Coming to solar flaring, sort of, there really isn't any. The earth-facing quiet effect is dominating the sunspots, and now we can say that one of those spots has gained magnetic complexity. The smaller grouping up north actually has gamma-class magnetism as the polarities have become jumbled as opposed to just being split side to side. M-flare potential jumps to 35% from that sunspot, but remains low in the southern grouping. The solar wind telemetry all around suggests a co-rotating interaction region onset with phi angle twist on deck and coronal hole stream set for tomorrow or tomorrow night, albeit a weak one. KP has bumped up slightly, but the K and Q indices have already registered level 1 storm conditions. Eyes on the solar wind to start the week here. Folks, let's update yesterday's Quake Watch story. We got some quake factors, but the tropical events have kept the energetic disruption to the atmosphere. We expect those storms to begin weakening soon and the electrical perturbations to move to lower global layers. Hopefully we can wring out that rag in the clouds as much as possible before then. Yesterday morning in Pittsburgh, I was out with my dogs in a sweatshirt. This morning it's 13 degrees and the ground is covered in snow. The western edge of the low pressure system dropped Arctic air right onto the United States and in the Midwest, negative 20, negative 28 degrees Fahrenheit has been seen and that might not even be the worst of it. The heat, precipitation, followed by cold event was due to this counterclockwise driving low pressure system and as hard as it drives the warm air up the east side, the cold dashed south to meet the western side just as hard. Hopefully that helped show you how the major storms in the northern hemisphere will almost always stick to that southeastern convergence cloud line cutting up to the right side of the low pressure earth spot. So with that knowledge, the pressure should tell you much of what you need to know. In the southern hemisphere, the spin is clockwise and the convergence of interest swings north, but it still sucks inward and the eastern convergence is still the important one even if it swings west past the pressure cell itself. Folks, with the way fly on the wall and our background literature reviews have been going, 2016 is revving up to be an even more incredible year of unveiling. The usual programs, literature reviews, from how solar explosions affect your health to Agenda 21 and more. To become a member is just $4 a month or the cost of a new Blu-ray movie for a whole year of content plus the entire archive of material. Members simply log in to their accounts and have access to everything on the premium page. Also, the direct to SO email function is the email of priority in terms of replies and issues. Hit the help button if you have any problems. Folks, the plan for social hour Saturday night at Observing the Frontier is to meet at the Mobile Observatory right outside and then head out to the nearby nightlife. We'll try to get more details soon. Can you make it out to Phoenix at the end of the month? You wouldn't regret it. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.